To wheelchairfoundation.org, less than 10% of people in third world or developing countries who need a wheelchair have the access to one. But one student organization is working to change that. KTIV's Katie Koppel has the story. Imagine this. You're sitting in bed, your family is heading to the store, and you'd like to go too, but you can't because you need a wheelchair to live your life, but you don't have one. That is the reality for millions of people worldwide. 70 million people in the world that need a wheelchair, only 10 million of them have a wheelchair. So there's 60 million people that desperately need mobility. Hope Haven International Ministries is a nonprofit organization that helps provide disability and mobility aids to people all over the world. We have shipped 109 countries throughout the world. We've sent 140,000 wheelchairs. At their facility in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, volunteers build wheelchairs by hand that will then be shipped worldwide to those who need them most. And I help make the parts uh, for the wheelchairs, and then I also help to assemble the sides or the, the bottoms of the wheelchairs. Rick Albrecht is one of those volunteers. He's dedicated much of his life to giving back, joining Hope Haven earlier this year. It's a local, uh, a local charity, and you can actually see what you're doing. You don't have to do everything. Scott Thorson is another volunteer. He's not only building these wheelchairs, which can adapt and grow with their person, he's traveled the world to see Hope Haven's impact for himself. We went to Vietnam. Uh, we did a distribution, and it was like the second to the last person that comes in was brought in by a family member. We got him fitted in it finally, and we looked around, and he was nowhere to be seen. So we walked out of the compound, looked down the road, and here he was. He was free. And that's what hooked me. In South Sioux City, Nebraska, Rolando Luna has been working to bring wheelchairs to his native country of Peru. In Peru, in Peru there are over 3.4 million people with disabilities. In 2015, Luna and Hope Haven delivered over 400 wheelchairs to Peru. Now, Luna started his own nonprofit called Path of Hope with a goal of building a wheelchair factory in Peru to not only bring mobility to his home country, but jobs too. Y el gobierno central, gobierno de Peru, es, no es the aid that the government provides is not enough for that many people with disabilities. That is why we want to build a wheelchair factory in Peru. De poder poner una fábrica en Peru. In spring 2024, Hope Haven and Path of Hope will be delivering 200 more wheelchairs to Peru with a team of physical and occupational therapists, mechanics and other volunteers on hand to ensure each wheelchair is fitted properly, something they do with every delivery they make, bringing mobility and spreading hope worldwide. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with News Director Diana Castillo, Katie Koppel, KTIV News 4. Hope Haven began in Rock Valley, Iowa back in 1964 and has since grown to several locations throughout northwest Iowa and southeast South Dakota. Each year it delivers and fits thousands of wheelchairs around the world for those in need. Hope Haven relies on volunteers to make the Hope Haven kids chairs and refurbished wheelchairs. Over the last 50 years, Hope Haven International Ministries has delivered more than 130,000 wheelchairs to people in more than 100 countries. To achieve its mission, Hope Haven relies heavily on volunteers, from sewing and manufacturing new wheelchairs to international trips to deliver and fit the Hope Haven kids chairs. Hope Haven International Ministries is always looking for people who want to lend a hand. They can use any skill they have. We have people that sew, we have people that build wheelchairs, that drive for us. Anything um, that you are gifted in, we can definitely use. We all want to give back. Hope Haven also takes and repairs manual wheelchairs and other mobility aids to donate to others who need them. If you'd like to learn more about volunteering or donating to Hope Haven and Path of Hope, simply visit this story right now at KTIV.com.